The company started in 1883. It started just up the bank up there in our mother town of Burslow. I don't know if you know Stoke-on-Trent, it's made up of six towns. If you read Arnold Bennett's poem book, um, it actually says five towns. It's, he got it wrong, it's six. It's Tonstall, Burslum, Hanley, Stoke, Fenton, Longton. Um, and we are, the, they together make up the city of Stoke-on-Trent. We're the only place in England that's actually called what we do. We are the potteries, because the industry started here and it's... So, uh, the Saga Makers Yard was here and it's got a beautiful location it's right next to the trenton mersey canal now when the industry started they were up in beers and so they had to put all the products into horse and carts or pack horses to transport but the canal was actually built a hundred years before now this is the very first factory that was purposely built as a pottery industry and pottery factory it's called the Model Factory because all since then all other companies copied it. So this was the very finished one. Uh, he did really well, the architect did. Uh, he managed to fit everything on the side. But he... uh, the Health and Safety Act came in. Uh, what it is, they said they couldn't work with dusty materials anymore. So if you can imagine all these dust when we mix together, so it's a very dusty environment. Health and safety said, you're not allowed to do that. It has to be done in a sealed room and all the products. So what it is, they don't actually mix them on site anymore. There's a company just up the road, 10 minutes up the road, that actually mixes the clay for the pot banks that are around this area. And what they do, they mix whatever you, your recipe is for your factory. So they mix it together and then they put it into what's called cakes. Now there's machinery in here uh, that was used to make cakes, you know, to make the cakes. And what it is, in the corner, there's two big presses. Now we use uh, the material in two ways. We use solid clay and we use liquid clay. The liquid clay we call slip. Solid clay is obvious solid clay. Now, solid clay is used for making flatware and tea sauces, tea plates, and things like that, and uh, cups, uh, mugs, things like that. Anything fancy or complicated will use liquid clay. So, in here, this is where they mix all the materials together. Uh, but they like to say, they come in as a cake now, but it has to go through two proof, uh, processes. One is we have to make it into a slip, a liquid clay, so we take half the cake, chuck it in a tank, mix it up with water, uh, get it to the right consistency. If it's too weak, it doesn't work right. If it's too thick, it doesn't work right. So it's actually just right. And the other part, the solid clay, we chuck into what's called a pub milk. It's a bit like a min mince meat, so we like, you know, making sausage meat. Uh, what it is, it chews the clay up, and then he puts it through a vacuum chamber which sucks all the air out and then he pumps it out in a nice big long sausage and it's the sausage that's been used in the thing so let's wait there is some you know, up and down what's that slip with tight but it's guys because I do cast air cast air means you can pull that slip into the sea
Just looking at the um, the slip clay there, it's, yeah. it's round with like a square uh, flat base. Is that right? Is that no, how it's no, made? They're, 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 they're all just a, a they're all they're all just round. Yeah, very yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are, they, are they heavy? Can one person well, lift them? Yeah. Well, what one was? Yes, we have to lift them. One was is about 15, 16 kilos on one was, and on the pallet you're looking at nearly 500 kilos on on, on the pallet. Interesting. No, well, I think the, I've seen it needs a transfer in the flat shop and then it's the rolls and put on the machine and it cuts into pieces like that, like that, then they will make all the individual plates and sources or what, whatever we make. Obviously the eye bed that places on the wall, that's a steam engine the other side there. And until the early seventies all this was all run by all belts and everything all in a year until we had all the electric motors in. So that, that's been and then restored and we do run it once a week so maybe when you finish later you, you might have a look at that which is which is in there. That'd be interesting. Okay. Yeah, okay. Be interesting. Thanks to the pottery workers for allowing us into their place of work. The factory tour is highly recommended. Thanks to Reform Heritage and our guide, John. Please let us know what you thought of this clip. Do like and leave a comment below. This is the first of a number of clips from Middleport. Look out for more in this series.